Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the bright side. We welcome your calls, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls in our next segment. We've got a guest at the bottom of the hour, uh, uh, Dr. Sarah Salati. Actually, she's not a doctor, uh, but she's got a really interesting form of therapy she calls enhanced external counterpulsation, EECP. Basically, they stick you in this, uh, they wrap you up in this pumping mechanism and uh, they put pressure and then relieve the pressure and put pressure and relieve the pressure and it actually is quite beneficial and I can see why it would be beneficial and she's got some really interesting things to say about this uh, EECP if you're dealing with cardiovascular health issues or circulatory issues um, or any kind of health issues this is something you might want to think about as you know we talk about the movement of fluids throughout the body hemodynamics on this program all the time that is that's the key to disease folks right there hemodynamics The movement of fluids, the body is supposed to flow. When the body doesn't flow, when the liquids of the body don't move appropriately, when the hemodynamics, the fluid, uh, the dynamics of fluid flow are disrupted in any way, we get sick. Period. End of story. That's about as simple as I can get. It's clogged plumbing. And anyway, this enhanced external counterpulsation mechanism, this EECP, helps break up clogs. It's like Drano. She didn't say that. I'm saying that. Uh, hopefully that's accurate. Anyway, we'll talk to Doc, uh, Sarah Salati at the bottom of the hour. We'll take your calls in our next segment. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase Longevity products, go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Or even better, if you want to join the Brightside Ben team and help me in my mission to spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, love to have you on the team. Please uh, go to the websites brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com and click on the Join the Team link. You could start a business, be in business for yourself, earn thank you checks associated with having your own business, and uh, help, help change the world at the most fundamental level there is, which is the level of good health. Call. Uh, you can uh, click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call 866-735-2470. Okay, so we have been talking about GERD, heartburn, which is a miserable condition where acid splashes back up into the esophagus from the stomach. Basically, um, in terms of this whole flow model of health, what happens when you uh, have heartburn, when you have GERD, you've got uh, uh, food that is not moving through the intestine correctly. It's sitting in the intestine and it's fermenting. GERD is a fermentation problem. Heartburn gastroesophageal reflux disease, really quite miserable condition. If it happens once in a while, that's bad enough. Oh my God, I've had it once. Uh, I get it once in a while. Oh, it's just terrible. I can't imagine what happens when people have it chronically. There are people who can't sleep at night because they have constant acid sp- splashback. That's got to be the most miserable, miserable feeling. Miser- oh my gosh, miserable condition. I'm cringing just thinking of it. And it's a fermentation issue. It's an issue of food not passing through the gut as it should, especially carbohydrates. 
And by the way, it's not just unpleasant. It can lead to something called Barrett's esophagus, which is basically a type of cancer of the esophagus, which is just awful condition. Okay, esophageal cancer is a, uh, it's like one of the leading causes of cancer now. Anyway, if, uh, if you're dealing with GERD, if you're dealing with whether it's chronic or whether it's uh, occasional, notice that there's certain foods that trigger it. Now, once you've had it for a long time, once the bacteria in your gut are so messed up, you can get it just from water. I've heard people get heartburn just from drinking water. So it, once it progresses, you've got some problems. If, it, if you are at that point, focus on the bacteria in the gut. And definitely stay away from fermentable foods. Fermentable foods are basically carbohydrates. Work on the, the two ways that you want to uh, work on if you have GERD, if you have heartburn issues, there's two things you want to do. Number one, you want to focus on the health of the intestine, actually of the whole digestive system, especially the intestine, but the whole digestive system. Probiotics, stomach acid, uh, apple cider vinegar or betaine HCL or HCL drops, digestive enzymes, bile salts, stomach bitters, gentian, uh, Swedish bitters dandelion at the beginning of your meals, parsley at the beginning of your meals, excuse me. Anything that supports digestive health, even bone broth protein and gelatin and uh, glucosamine and hyaluronic acid, these are things that build connective tissue in the digestive system. You see, what? we're not working on the heartburn here. The medical model will work on the heartburn. They'll give you Prilosec or Zantac or whatever, and that just messes things up even worse. You got to go to the cause of these things. Cause of the GERD is in the, is in the digestive tract, and secondly, it's in food choices. So first you work on your digestive system, then you work on food choices, especially, especially carbs, because those ferment, and GERD is largely a fermentation issue. It's the fermentation that's the problem, and some foods ferment more than others. The most fermentable foods are called FODMAPs. You may have heard that term. We've talked about it here on this program, the FODMAPs diet. FODMAPs is an acronym that basically means sugars. Actually, it stands for fermentable oligosaccharides. That's a long chain of sugar. Disaccharides, that's a shorter chain of sugar. And monosaccharides, that's a single sugar from a chemistry perspective. But basically it's sugar. And then there's something called polyols, fermentable, oligosaccharides, disaccharides, monosaccharides, and polyols. Just basically sugars. Polyols are, by the way, things like sorbitol and xylitol. If it ends with O-L, mannitol. If it ends with O-L, that's a, that's a polyol, and a lot of people have problems with that. So fermentable sugars, fer uh, fermentable sugars. If you do have GERD, and by the way, there's another fermentable sugar called, uh, that's a fructo, uh, fructo oligosaccharide called inulin. And you see that everywhere these days. A lot of people have problems with inulin. There are, foods that have in, there are natural foods that have inulin in them, but, and, and you can have a problem with those. Or there's a lot of processed foods that have inulin, I-N-U-L-I-N. A lot of people have problems with those. You can see how going gluten-free for your digestive system is just a little sliver of what you need. I can't tell you how many times a week people tell me, but I'm gluten-free. And I have all these problems, and I got to say, its own gluten is just one of a zillion different things that can wreak havoc on your digestive system. And the problem with this whole idea of gluten is we think gluten-free brownies and gluten-free oatmeal and gluten-free this and gluten-free that are going to get us by, but they're not because chances are really good you're reacting to other things in addition to the gluten in the brownies and in the bread and in the crackers and in whatever the heck we're eating. Just these fermentable sugars. That's nothing to do with gluten. Gluten's a protein. Gluten's a peptide. These, uh, these carbohydrates have nothing to do with gluten. They're, they're in asparagus. And so you could have a problem with asparagus. You could have a problem with pears. You have a problem with anything. That's why you got to do a food diary. That's why you got to chart that's why you have to uh, collect data on your particular problems. And that's why these lists of foods to avoid, and people say, what should I avoid? It doesn't work that way. You know, there are guidelines for, you know, you can point sort of broad categories of things. But for everybody, you got to be go with your specific battles, your specific problem children, if you will. All right. 844 is our number. We'll get your calls here in our next segment. Uh, Sarah Swati will be on at the bottom of the hour talking about EECP, Enhanced External Counter Pulsation. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. 
side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We got a whole bunch of folks who want to talk to us here, which is a good thing. I love talking to you guys. I love my smart listeners on the bright side. We don't dumb things down on the bright side. We tell it like it is, and uh, we go into the weeds here. It's not all that complicated, but uh, the stuff I talk about on this program is not, it's coming out of my head based on research, based on my personal experience, based on my experience as a clinician, as a pharmacist, based on my laboratory experience. So the stuff you hear on this program is unique to me, unique to us on the bright side. And if you get it, you are truly advanced in terms of how you're handling your life and how, how, you're, how you potentially are handling your life and potentially handling your health business. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got Sarah Slotty at the bottom of the hour. She's going to talk about her enhanced external counter pulsation device. And I am a big believer in, uh, at least conceptually, I haven't never, I haven't talked to anybody who's actually done it, but conceptually, it's really quite a, a really brilliant concept. If, if a little awkward, you get wrapped up in a pulsation device and the pulsation and the machine pulsates your fluids, pulsates your muscles, uh, counter pulsates it actually creating, I suppose, uh, some kind of, uh, AC alternative current through the body. That's got to be amazing for the electrical energy, the zeta potential of the fluid system. We'll talk to Sarah Slotty at the bottom of the hour. We'll take your calls. 844-236-6010. Good morning, Jeff in California. What's going on, Jeff? Jeff, going once. Jeff, going twice. I hear you. Come to the phone. What's up, Jeff? How you doing, man? Hello? Sorry to surprise you there. Jeff? Jeff? Jeff, are you there? Okay. Hello? Jeff, I'm only going to give you one more shot here, buddy. Got a whole bunch hey, of people. Can you hear me? Talk. Yes, I hear you. What's hey. going on, Jeff? Oh, good. How's it going? Oh, man, I, I'll be real quick. It's like you, I have an unbelievable story of a, a success story. You're not even going to believe it. Oh, I love it. Um, I love it. Yeah, I called you before. I'm the guy that was trained to do a couple records for push-ups. And he told me to work on my OCD instead. Okay. I'm very obsessed about everything. <laughs> okay. um, yeah, I, I, you know, I, my back real quick. I've been training for like 22 years, always in the mechanics of the body and everything. But I was getting real bored with that. And about a year and a half ago, I heard you on Coast to Coast, and you sparked an unbelievable OCD knowledge journey for me. Oh, I wow. Have, you wouldn't, yeah, from you, oh, yeah, you were totally my mentor. I don't say that about hardly anybody. A um, year and a half ago, I started studying like free, you know, all my free time, hundreds of hours. I listen to four or five of your radio shows a day, sometimes the same one three or four times. I've listened to three and a half years of archives in a year and a half. All the, wow. all the critical health news articles, all the videos. And then I started studying biochemistry, physics, anatomy, wow. physiology, nutrition. All this because you sparked all this in me. I'm very That's obsessed. Awesome. I started reading awesome. scientists, physics.org, reading autobiographies and all the great physicists of the 19th century. Wow. wow. Uh, yeah, I'm talking... Massive, massive, hundreds of hours of knowledge, um, obsessively seeking knowledge. So as you can imagine, three as only an OCD, show, as only an OCD guy could do. By the way, probably but that's good. Yeah, oh yeah, totally. People <laughs> think I'm crazy. So yeah. as you can imagine the knowledge I have after uh-huh. especially three and a half years of show. That's awesome. That's I have, awesome. I have a friend. Yeah, I have a buddy of mine who has been my friend Tim. This is so incredible. He's been suffering with seizures since he was 12 years old. Uh, for 37 years, he's been suffering with seizures. He's had five brain surgeries, Holy four God. back surgeries. Four years ago, he had a lung infection. The hospital removed his lung. Uh, he was going to have to go to a four or five years ago to assisted living. And he's only 50. Or he was like 47 at the time. He was going to have to go to assisted living because he wasn't able to be left alone. So he got a seizure dog. So he has a seizure dog. He speaks at schools. He speaks in front of Congress. He's on multiple scripts. As you could okay. imagine. So, I mean, this guy has been through the ringer. He came to me 18 days ago, Ben. 18 days ago, guess what? Not seizure-free for 18 days. He was having 30, 60 to 90 a month. Holy mo! What'd you do? He, uh, yeah, let me, exactly what I did. I, everything I've learned from you, today's day 18. Uh, no seizures. He lost 25 pounds. He's working Holy out. He feels great. It's almost like a miracle. Okay, listen, Jeff. Um, this is this is great stuff, and I w- I'd love to sit here and talk to you, but I'm going to run out of time. Why don't you send me an email? Let's talk, okay? Or do you want me to call you tomorrow? Because there's something I did. That yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. Will you call me tomorrow? Here. I got a whole bunch of people I want to get to, but I, this is fascinating stuff. I don't want to leave people on hold, though. Uh, so, yeah, will you call yeah, me tomorrow? No problem. I'll, yep, I'll call you tomorrow. I'll explain exactly what I, I want to hear everything you did. I want to know everything you did for the seizures, okay? 
You will not believe it. Okay, so call. Uh, actually, you know what? Call it. Can you call like on Thursday? Thursday better. That? Yeah, Thursday's better. Yeah. Call Thursday. Yeah, I'll call and Thursday then send because me all the listeners actually, need to hear Actually, this. give us, you know what? This is kind of important. Real quick. we got to go quick, though. Give me a couple things. You d- Actually, you know what? Let's, we'll, do, we'll, go, we'll go, do it on Thursday, okay? Yes, I will call you Thursday morning, send first it. call. Send me an email, though. Bet, I, I know I can count on you because you got OCD. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so, <laughs> you sure can. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so send me, yeah, I'll send send me an you, email, I'll though. send you a quick you know, I'll send you a quick email today explaining. Thank you. I'll put in a headline. Thank uh, you. Jeff Meyer Caesars. Thank you. That's a great story. I can't wait to hear okay. everything. All right, buddy. Oh, you're going to be Jeff. shocked, Ben. Okay. 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 Thanks, Ben. All right. I love that. That's awesome. All right. So uh, that's the kind of that's what's possible, you guys. If you're dealing with anything that's chronic, and your doctor's telling you you're going to be on your drugs the rest of your life, and there's nothing they could do, the human body is a unbelievably resilient. Understand this no matter what your health challenge is. All right, let's uh, let's go to uh, Spencer in Toronto. Good morning, Spencer. Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, Ben. How you doing? Hey, what's going on, man? I had a couple questions. Um, one about uh, sun lamps. Like, if you have any specific uh, recommendations for certain kinds of sun lamps. And yeah, there's a, the- they're real easy to get. I highly recommend them, especially uh, in Toronto in the winter time. I guess is it pretty yeah. cloudy out there in the winter time. Yeah, and the sun's yeah. really uh, weak, obviously. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So get yourself a broad spe- a uh, a broad. I think they call them broad spectrum. I don't forget what the terms are. Uh, I forgot the term. I think it's called broad spectrum, but I'm not sure. Uh, and you want to have uh, a good amount of, of, of illumination out of it. And you know what? I don't know. I have to look into that. There's, there's a term for them, and I forgot the term for the, for the good sunlight. Oh. But, yes, I, you definitely want to get a sun lamp, absolutely. Oh, okay. Well, uh, well maybe if, if, you, if you could, uh, if, if it comes to mind, maybe you could uh, mention it on your show tomorrow. I, don't I know will. I have I a will. chance to call in. I will. They're easy, super easy to find. Get them. You can get them off Amazon for like a hundred bucks, but they're they're super easy. Okay. And the second question is: I cut my finger and I needed four stitches, and it became infected. So I'm on antibiotics for a week. But I was just wondering, um, other than like taking probiotics, is there anything yeah. else you recommend to do? It, fiber. Make sure you're getting enough fiber. Small amounts of fiber. Fermented vegetables. Vegetable juices. Uh, and then stay away from anything like we're talking about these fermentation foods. I don't know if you heard us in the beginning of the program. Stay away from anything yeah, that messes up the gut bacteria. Absolutely. Okay. From, all right, buddy. Good to talk to you. Thanks. Good luck with that. And I'll, I'll look into that sun lamp thing for you. Let's go to uh, Pam in Michigan. Oh, Pam. You know what, Pam? We only got 30 seconds. I don't know how fast you want to go here. But, uh, we're hey, Ben. How you doing? Um, I just want to tell you that we appreciate your knowledge in biology and Thank you. your natural health connection with the spiritual, mental, emotional alignment You know, to achieve Thank better you. health. Thank you. That, thank you. So, I appreciate that. We've been following you for years, too, and I just want to get right to it. Um, I have a 50-year-old active athletic male who was driving a motorcycle, and a car pulled out, made a left hand turn in front of him, and mm. um, it shattered his right leg. Uh, he flipped over the vehicle and broke both of his knees. And, get him on, um, a, get him on nutrition schema. ASAP. ASAP. Bone broth protein, high hyaluronic acid, chicken broth, aloe vera, zinc, digestive enzymes, glucogel caps, um, uh, branch chain amino acids, exercise. There's uh, so many things you could do, and you should do. Every, he should be doing every last one of them. So if you want, send me an email or give me a call, Pam, uh, and I'll help you out some more. We're just out of time. Is this- we are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Actually, we're going to hopefully have a guest at the bottom of the hour. Sarah, which I'm still trying to get a hold of Sarah Salati. She's going to be talking about, uh, if we get her, she'll be talking about EECP, Enhanced External Counter Pulsation. Hopefully we can get to her because it's kind of an interesting uh, interesting therapy, EECP. You can Google it. It's, uh, there's stuff on the Internet. There's, there's YouTubes on it. Um, and uh, it's it's kind of a cool little cool little idea. They put you in a in a little wrapped up uh, sort of a, um, a rubber jacket kind of thing and pump you pump, uh, send uh, send uh, uh, pulsations through uh, through this device and into your body. And it uh, uh, I don't know this for a fact, but I would uh, Sarah will tell us about it. But it, it seems like it would help. Uh, uh, improve circulation and zeta potential energy, um, the flow of electrical energy. It's all about hemodynamics, folks. It's all about the flow of fluids, as we talk about on this program all the time. Health is plumbing. 
And this is kind of Drano for the uh, circulatory system. I guess we got Sarah on. Uh, Sarah's uh, the CEO of this company that um, has this device, and uh, she's got all kinds of testimonials. But you know what? Just understanding the science of it, you don't really need testimonials. It makes perfect sense. At least to me, we'll let Sarah Salati talk about it. Uh, tell, you, tell us all about it. Sarah, are you there? I am. Good morning. Thank you so much. So excited to be with you, Ben. Thank you. I'm excited to have you on. I love your device. We talk about uh, the whole idea of fluid of flowing, of movement through the body, of flow through the body. And even though you don't necessarily say this specifically, I imagine that's what your device does. So why don't you? Why don't we get right into it? Actually, tell us about yourself. You're a business lady. So how did you get involved with this? And then we'll get into exactly what EEC, EECP is. Absolutely, I'd love to do that. I am a nurse by trade. A thousand years ago, went into nursing thinking that. That's what I wanted to do, but after taking the pharmaceutical classes and everything that I was involved in in nursing school, it kind of turned me away. In 1996, uh, there was an ad out in the paper for an EECP nurse, and EECP was just FDA cleared in 1995, and there was only one center in all of United States, which was in Stony Brook, New York, and there was another center in Newport Beach, California, where they had just opened up and put an ad, and there I walk in, see this device, and it was love at first sight because everything that resonated inside of me was about how can the body heal itself and nice. working in cardiology and working and watching people get bypass surgery, getting stents, having heart attacks. I had almost become numb to the whole idea of how can I help people because all I saw was a repeat heart attack after the stent or a repeat heart attack after bypass surgery. But, and at that time, about six years prior to that, I became a vegan. So working in the whole medical industry was very challenging for me. So this was a perfect opportunity for me to step into something that was brand new for the whole entire world and kind of figure it all out. So I am considered a pioneer in the field of EECP. It has been 22 years, and I would nice. love to share with the audience, you know, what the power that the human body really has. I mean, this device is, is incredible, but the human body is on a whole nother level because it's the body that really heals us awesome. through the process when we get EECP. So EECP actually stands for Enhanced External Counterpulsation, and it was invented in Harvard, believe it or not, in the 1950s by a genius man named Burtwell. And at that time, we did not have bypass surgery in the United States. We did not have stenting, and we did not have blood thinners. So when you were having a heart attack, you were having a heart attack, and there wasn't really much that we could do. So this steel casing, if you could imagine, it was a steel casing that was in the lower extremities that was put on the person while they were having a heart attack, and it was a water hydraulic system that with water pressure it moved the blood from the lower extremities and delivered the blood during the time when the heart was resting, during the diastolic phase, the resting phase of the heart. And it would deliver the blood from the lower extremities into the coronary arteries and save the person from having chest pain. I mean, obviously, when we're having heart attack is that we're not getting that blood to the heart. And that's excuse what me, Sarah, device did. Sarah, yeah. excuse me, was this an internal device that this Harvard yeah, guy it, it, or an external? Yeah. It was an external device, but I know what you're thinking, and you're right, because the internal device, which is the aortic internal balloon pump, came from this theory. So this was the original external device, mm. and it was water hydraulic. And so the 70s came around, and, the, and, and so the Chinese took the machine, and they perfected it from water to air sequential squeezing, what we use today. And in China, they used the therapy for anything that was circulatory, which basically everything that we need to improve in our life, which is prevention and reversal of any disease, has to do with really two main factors, improving circulation and reducing inflammation. Nice. And that's what this device did. And But, you know, there was no clinical trials. They just put a lot of patients on the machine, and they had a success rate. And it wasn't until the late 70s the Americans went back, grabbed the machine, and it got its first FDA clearance in the 70s for cardiogenic shock and acute MI, basically meaning if you're having a heart attack, you want to be on this device because it saves the heart muscle. And in the 70s, the doctors remember using this machine in the ambulances and in the, in the emergency rooms. 
at that time there was bypass, but there was no blood thinner. So this was an ancillary therapy for a while. People were having heart attacks, get their heart muscle, oxygenated blood, and let's get the bypass team together. So again, it was very, very successful for that stage of, of heart disease or heart attacks. It wasn't until 1995 where University of Stony Brook, a brilliant man that was actually with Burt Well in Harvard, he was his last fellow, Dr. John Huey, went to China, grabbed the machine, brought it to University of Stony Brook, and they did their first clinical trials with EECP. And it was hard to be double-blinded because you actually have to be on a device. And you, so it was really it's considered a blinded study, not double blinded, where half of the patients got pressure one and the other half of the patients got pressure four. And pressure by that, I mean, how tight do we squeeze the lower leg? So the way that the treatment looks now is if you could imagine you're laying down on a comfortable bed and three blood pressure cuffs, heavy duty blood pressure cuffs, are wrapped around your calves, your thighs, and your buttocks. And to the rhythm of your heartbeat, when your wow. heart is at rest, these blood pressure cuffs start to squeeze the lower extremities and move all the blood from the lower legs and fill up the coronary arteries when the heart is resting. So when the heart goes to pump again, it realizes that there's all this ox blood delivered to it without it working. So mm. in essence, you're decreasing the workload of the heart by awesome. increasing circulation and you're decreasing the blood pressure. It's a very, very... It's like effective. an external heart in a way. It's like an external it heart is. or external diaphragm or something. It is. That's why they call it external counter pulsation because it's counter pulsing during the resting phase and it's all being done externally. Yes, ha you're absolutely right, Ben. Now, ha ha so you, I imagine you change the electronics and the wave nature and the harmonics and the resonance and all that frequencies and all that inside there too. Has that ever been measured? Well, what actually, you know, the, the, the machine will always pump during diastole, which is the resting phase of the heart, but the, what we do as clinicians is we time it to the resting phase. And so they've done so many things to measure the heart, and we can get into that as far as... I would love, we got to take a break, Sarah. I, we'll get into it when yes. we come back. We're talking to Sarah Salati about her device, uh, Enhanced External Counter Pulsation Device. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. We are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. We're talking to Sarah Salati about uh, her enhanced external counter pulsation device. Um, Sarah, before we get into a few practical questions, questions here. This counter pulsation idea, is that refer to the fact that it pumps when the heart is in its the diastole or the re relaxation phase? Is that why you call it counter pulsation? Yes, correct. Okay. You're absolutely okay. right. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> oh, oh, so why wouldn't you pump it with, and it's not, I don't know, it's kind of maybe not, not relevant, but it, why doesn't it pump mm -hmm. when it's, when the heart's pumping? Why does it pump when the heart's relaxing? Well, because what we want to do, and that's one of the questions that everybody always asks, is that does the heart rate increase? Are we increasing the heart rate, which we're doing the opposite. So with every squeezing mechanism of the device, it fills up the coronary arteries with the blood, and then the next time the heart goes to pump. Oh, it has more blood. It, oh, It gotcha. has more blood. So oh. that's, where we, that's where the safety mechanism and Got actually it. the whole magic of EECP occurs because we're lowering the heart rate, we're lowering Got the it. blood pressure, we're increasing massive amount of blood flow through the That's whole so entire awesome. arterial system. Yes. That's yes. so awesome. And I know you're talking about it for cardiovascular health, but it's improved, it's probably important for everything. Just as anti-aging strategy. You are absolutely right on it. It is, and that's what I fell into and so in 1996, when it finally got FDA approved, when they treated these patients at Stony Brook, these were considered end-of-life patients. They had had bypass, they had had stents, they had had heart attacks. They were on maximum medication, and they were having chest pain with minimal exertion. So they had nothing else that the medical system could give them as far as chest pain and heart attacks were concerned. And they put them on the counterpulsation device, and the people that got pressure for 
had an 85 percent improvement in quality of life, chest pain, and they actually saw collateralization. So oh, the great. whole entire thing with EECP has to do with angiogenesis, the creating of new that's arteries. Great. In the lining of the artery is all of the magic and the good stuff. Yeah. Endorphins, gases, VEGF. Hormones. Are you familiar with VEGF? Yes. Yeah. VEGF. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly VEGF, vascular right. endothelial growth factor. And when you are squeezing the lower extremities with EECP, we are stretching the endothelium. The endothelium awesome. is the lining of the artery. And when we stretch that reverse shear stress that we give, and it's not just for the coronary arteries like you just mentioned. We are secreting nitric oxide, which yeah. is incredible for vasodilation. That's yeah. why EECP is so beneficial for people with hypertension because really high blood pressure is your biological age. That's your number. We're only as old as our arteries. If we yeah. can keep our arteries bouncy, supple, yeah. and soft versus so hard, true. This, and that's what EECP does because it's secretes NO to come out and it vasodilates and eventually it reverses arterial stiffness. And so when I was treating patients in Newport Beach, there was this incredible doctor. His name is Dr. Julian Whitaker. He was oh, very yeah. advanced. Yeah, yeah. In, in the 60s and is 70s. Is he still around? Supplements. Is he around? No, no, he just he just closed down his, you know, his whole center in Newport Beach about a few months ago. But he happened to be a doctor across the street. I didn't know who he was, and he started flooding me with patients with stroke, diabetes, and I wow. kept calling Stony Brook and saying, well, this is not end stage there, and they would say, Sara, this is only for end stage. But the doctor wanted me to treat the patients, and so little by little I learned how EECP was a regenerative therapy. It actually started to regenerate the organs that were not functioning. People that were diabetic were able to produce insulin from their pancreas, and I would always think logically and say, well, if you believe it grows new arteries for the heart, you know, coronary sure. arteries, why would it not work in the brain? Or why would it or not Or the work liver or the digestive with... system or any th or anywhere else. It, right. And if it, yeah. the heart, you know, itself is going to regenerate and so will the other organs. And that's sure. exactly what it did. And so fast forward 22 years, we have been doing this treatment. We are the largest EECP center in the world. We are the most experienced just because EECP has to do with a lot with how many clients are you going to treat, how much experience are you going to get, and, you know, treating from Alzheimer's. We've seen benefits with memory. We've seen benefits with, like I mentioned, diabetes, renal failure. Just feeling good, all, Dr. Uh, yeah. Sarah, just feeling good. Yeah. You know, you're talking about all these health challenges, and that's awesome. Of course, that's wonderful. But just feeling good, it seems like you would just feel good on that uh, when you have the machine. You get more blood flow to your brain. You get more endorphins. It seems like everything would benefit, like just oh, anxiety yeah. issues. Oh, that's awesome. That's what, that's what happened is I started seeing these patients get on the bed, and there were like 70 and 80 coming in yeah. walkers, and then they were getting away from their walkers, yeah. and they were like, my erectile dysfunction is better. I'm able I to walk better. And, I love and so it. I, I, love I was 26, it. and I threw myself on the machine, and then I went for a run. And I have to tell you, Ben, I ran so fast. I thought someone had given me speed. That is I so couldn't cool. believe That's it. That's so cool. I couldn't believe it. How about first thing in the morning for coffee? Like instead of coffee, like, you know, because oh, yes. a lot of the sluggishness is circulatory first thing in the morning, even laying down yes. for like, you know, right? So how about just go, yes. like a, like a pick me up, a quick pick me up, or even in the middle of the day. Well, why don't we all have know, these? What, we should why? all have these things. <laughs> we should. I'm that's a fan. Uh, you think I'm a fan of it? I am a big fan of, it, of your device. So uh, how it's do people. beautiful device. Okay, so let, real quick, because we're going to run out of time here. So how about for cancer, first of all? Any, have you seen anything? I mean, imagine it would work, <clears throat> support immunity. Well, but have I you seen anything? Can, cancer can't really live in an oxygenated environment yeah. and an alkaline yeah. environment. And this therapy oxygenates, helps with oxygen. Alkalinizes. Takes on, yeah, alkaline, because you're circulating. Yeah. And yeah. it's a reduction in inflammatory. It's huge for the lymphatic system. It has a it's huge awesome. benefit for increasing your immune system. So... It's an anti-aging prevention and reversal therapy, and it's a Everything. quality of life issue. Everything. Yes. And it's less, not because less, it's less the less device. Less. It's because of your body, like you say. It's because of the yes. circula improving the circulation, delivery of oxygen, nutrients, electrical energy, yeah. everything. I so mean, the body knows, the body has this intelligence and knows it can grow new arteries if you yeah. can give it some blood yeah. flow. And You're unlocking yes, that's it. That's what we're doing. You're, 
you're yeah. unlocking all of these things that are built into the body. It's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So, for, uh, uh, how to like practically speaking, how do people? I mean, I I hadn't heard of this machine until talking to you. How do people find out about it? How do people like get a treatment? Are there practitioners? Is it just you? Yes, there are. My my center is called Global Cardio Care. So globalcardiocare.com. You can go on. You can ask to sign up for a free EECP session. We have people come in. We have a whole entire anti-inflammatory lifestyle that's attached to it because we're not just going to give you a therapy and not teach you about what caused the problem or how to prevent any issues. So we have a whole prevention program attached to it. Where are you? Are e- where we're in you? Los Angeles. We're uh-huh. in two centers in Los Angeles, California, on the west side, and one by LAX. And there are centers in the world that do EECP, but most of them, they do it for end stage of life. They don't think that EECP is supposed to be done for prevention. There is a huge controversy. This takes away bypass surgery. This takes away stents. This takes away pharmaceutical medications. This is why you haven't heard of it, because it's something that's been FDA cleared since 1995 to grow arteries. This should be front page news every yeah. day of our life. What I mean, that's the best thing that I've ever heard, growing new arteries without having to yeah. have bypass surgery or stents. So right. global cardio care, people can sign up and come and get a session. Even we have people from out of state, out of the country, they come and stay with us for a couple weeks and they do about 35 sessions. So it's one hour a day, five days a week for 35 days, or you could do two hours a day for three and a half weeks and people come once a year, and they just get this tune-up with EECP in our program. And what, what, uh, how about uh, cost? Like, what is it? What is going to cost? It is somebody? covered by insurance for people that have heart condition, whether it's congestive heart failure, heart disease, heart attack, you know, chest pain. That's all covered by Medicare and private insurances. For people that are wanting to pay cash, it's very reasonable. Our rates are only one hundred and fifty dollars an hour. And can you come in for just like a one one time session? You probably benefit if you you just want to get a quick pick me up kind of thing. Even for one session, Ben, if you're ever in Los Angeles, you'll be my guest. Even I'd for one it. session, you will. It's lactic acid. You remove the lactic yeah. acid in the muscles. You remove love the it. lactic acid from the heart, the brain. It's I just love pure it. oxygen. Everybody feels like they are high after the treatment. Because I can imagine got all those endorphins coming out. I can yeah. imagine. Oh my God! It sounds. I want to do it right now. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm telling you, I can totally get it, and I, it's yes. great. And I don't say that about a lot of stuff. I'm usually pretty skeptical, but this is, sounds like the real, the real deal to me. Hey, uh, Sarah Salati, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Give your website out real, real quick, your website. Globalcardiocare.com. Sign up and come and get a free EECP session and see what our program is. We can definitely help people with quality of life. Thank you, Sarah. Good to talk to you. And thank Mark for his persistence. Appreciate that. I, uh, thank you so much, Ben. Have a great right. day. Thank you. You too. Good to talk to you. All right. That was Sarah Salati uh, talking about her enhanced external counterpulsation device. And uh, I'm a big believer. Uh, I have never done it, but the theory it makes perfect sense. And I could see why it would work. If you're dealing with any kind of health challenge, you might want to look into that. Uh, Sarah Salati. Just Google Sarah Salati. There's a lot of YouTubes on her. S-O-U-L-A-T-I. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Farms Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular spectacular day. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.